Welcome. Today we have the long range remix again. And as you can see, I have added LEDs. So it looks cool and it's really freaking bright. Um, <laughs> I have them set up so like they are like real actual aircraft markers and strobes. So if I wanted to, I could fly at night with the proper authorizations. Um, anyway, um, I finally got the F port working on the R9MM, not the R9 Mini, but the R9MM, the newer one. It has the uninverted or inverted F port pad, um, which you should be able to take to any transmit pad, any transmit you are. Um, but apparently... It's not quite that simple necessarily if you have an F4. Um, if you have an F3 or an F7, you could use the regular one and it's no problem. But F4 users like me, um, we get that stupid inverted thing, which is part of the reason I was afraid to come to FR Sky in the first place and why I started off with Spectrum. So much simpler to set up. Power ground, signal to transmit on any UART. Telemetry works right out the box, everything. Bam. But anyway, um, can't go long range with the Spectrum without Crossfire or something. And the R9 is a lot cheaper. So we got the. We got F port working. So I got the telemetry and the controls working finally last night. It took me forever. It's not as easy as it seems like it should be. Um, so going to show you what I did to get it set up it's pretty easy um, once you know and this is going to be based on my board it's the hobby wing the X-Rotor G2 their F4 it's an omnibus F4 um, so yeah I'm gonna chop down there we'll see that okay so As you can see, there's a lot of wires here now. <laughs> um, so the quad, uh, the receiver down here, let's see if we can move some of these wires out of here so you can see it. You can't quite see it, but inverted F port uh, pad is the one next to the uh, voltage or the power. So It'll go inverted, inverted, F port, power, ground. Um, if you have the antenna pointing out to the left, that'll go from the top down. So, so the white wire here is the signal wire I used that's going to transmit one on UART one. From the GPS, the green wire is going to transmit one or transmit three for so UART three and the uh, white wire from the GPS is going to receive so uh, the green is receive on the GPS end and the white is transmit on the GPS end so you want to, of course reverse those uh, the LED goes to the LED pad and these particular LEDs work off of 5 volts, so I'm using the 5 volt pad as opposed to the 10 volt, which is nice because the 10 volt is powering my camera. Um, the other 10 volt comes from this UART here, this plug, uh, that's UART 6, also has a 10 volt and a ground. And the camera in and out that's right so it's a little bit of a pain for your camera kind of for the OSD but it's not that bad um, so that's it so the power and ground and transmit three I said that backwards transmit three for the white wire um, not transmit one. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to try and zoom in a little bit um, so you can. But 
Um, so transmit three for to the uninverted F port on the R9MM. Then the GPS is white to receive one. Yeah, one and green to transmit one. And then LED, like I said, is the, the normal LED pad. Um, and as long as you run the um, resource command, you have to say LED strip uh, A08. You have to set the resource to that so it'll work. Otherwise, your LEDs won't power on. So it's pretty simple once you know actually how to do it and which you want to use. So for this hobby wing stack, uh, this is the G2, the newer one that comes with the 45 amp ESCs in the stack. So um, you have to use UART3. Didn't work for me on UART1, only on UART3. And yep, yeah, there you go. Now that we have the quad plugged in to get this working, you connect to your beta flight. Go to ports. Since we had to connect to UART 3 to get this working correctly, we're going to select Serial RX and with the GPS it didn't seem like it wanted to work on 11.5200 like Bardwell had his set up on UART 1 for some reason um, and auto detected at 57 but for right now, I'm going to save it there anyway. Uh, so GPS on UART 1 now instead of UART 3 like we originally had it. And Smart Audio still on UART 6. Save and reboot. Reconnect. Go to the Configuration tab. Scroll down for the receiver. Select Serial Based Receiver. And then FR Sky F port for the GPS. GPS on U blocks for the protocol. And I guess we're going to turn off the auto bod since we set it. And again, save and reboot. Um, you want to also make sure that you have telemetry on. I guess I can turn off soft serial since I'm not using that anymore. Um, and for the LEDs, you also want to make sure that the LED strip is on. So then, save and reboot. Next, you want to go to your receiver tab. And we're going to turn the receiver on. And you should see the things move when you move sticks and flip switches and things. So that's how you'll know it's working. You should also be able to rediscover the telemetry, uh, the sensors on your Tyrannus and you should be able to get all of them um, for the GPS you want to make sure that you're getting satellites it'll take a while the first time now it seems like everything is working which is good um, it took a really long time it didn't come I didn't get a GPS fix until midway through my second pack from this morning but you'll see you'll know it's working once you got some GPS satellites coming on from there you can set up your OSD um, and you can add your um, GPS position and all that stuff if you want. Um, the LED strip is the fun part, or one of the fun parts. Um, on the X rotor, you'll have to put in a CLI command after you do that. 
you can come here and you can assign you can see I've used all 32 so it's eight on each arm and you can see the colors um, Project Blue Falcon has a good video on actual all the setup, and I'll link that. Um, but it's pretty simple. So next thing you got to do is you come to the CLI, and you'll want to say get GPS, and that will show you all the parameters you can modify. Um, It'll show you the protocol, what they're set to. Um, the rescue angle you might want up a little bit. I think the default is, yeah, 32. I set it to 38. Um, I thought I had lowered my GPS rescue altitude, so let's set that lower. helps if you spell it correctly so <laughs> let's just copy set and then paste and then we can say 40 there that's better because um, it's all in meters so 40 meters is a little over 100 feet and if you fly above that it'll go to your highest flight altitude uh, to return um, I want to change this with the min sats if you don't have the minimum number of satellites it will not let you take off so I'm gonna set it to four because that's a like an absolute minimum for a GPS position fix with altitude and position so we're gonna set that and let's see Descent distance I took down to 150, no big deal. Uh, ground speed I set to 1800. I forget I calculated that, um, but I believe that's centimeters per second. So 1800 centimeters per second is about 40 miles an hour. So we can actually lower that amount down a little bit. Um, because even in a decent wind, we can probably set it like 30, and it'll struggle a little bit, but it won't be bad. So let's see. We'll do 1,500, because that is about 33 and a half miles an hour. Oops, forgot to put the set in front of it. Always forget. Um, let's see. The PID values for all those things, I leave them alone. I don't even. That scares me, so I leave it alone. Uh, throttle min is the lowest you want it to go. Throttle max is the highest you want it to go. Um, I lowered it just a little bit. Um, I think the hover is actually probably going to be pretty close to the throttle min, but I'm going to leave it at 1280. Um, let's see. And if you are really good at counting pixels and stuff, you can set your OSD manually here. So I think that's everything. So we're going to say save. So with that set, the next thing you want to do is go to your modes and to save space, I'm going to show or turn off all the unused ones. Um, you can set your arm and all that as you want, but the GPS rescue, you'll have to set to a switch and I need to change that, but you can see that's on its own switch there. Um, you can put the LEDs on a switch so that they're on or off 
Um, let's see. And you can have it beep the GPS count, which... I don't know. I guess you have to have a beeper. So I have that set to my pre-arm switch anyway. Um, but once you have those set, you can flip the switch and it should come back to you. Um, that's pretty simple. Um, I'll link Bardwell's video as well. He probably goes into a little better description on all that stuff. But that is the big stuff with the F4, this particular F4 at least, and the F port. The key thing is the UART 3, and of course you want to have it set to um, F port here. Oh, and I did actually have to. change uh, the serial RX are inverted to on even though I'm using the inverted pad that's supposed to be basically uninverted I don't know anyway and I had to turn the half duplex on um, <clears throat> and I did flash everything with the latest firmwares I used the F port firmware for the R9MM off the FR Sky website there are other videos for that um, I'll link Bardwell's because it's the one that I used uh, for the serial pass through. So once you have those set, um, everything should be working. So as you may be able to hear, breakfast is being made in the back. But that is how you get the F port working on an F4 with no telemetry pad and at least the hobby wing um got to use uart 3 you have to do the serial rx inverted equals on and i think i had to do the half duplex too might be able to turn off the inverted i didn't try turning that back off once i did the half duplex it just bam so um i left it alone um it's also how you do the LEDs. That's pretty simple and straightforward. There's a billion other videos. Um, and the GPS, of course, you can watch Bardwell's for this exact same GPS. I think he hooks it up exactly the same way. Um, it's pretty simple. But So that's this. Once I get a, un a higher uh, power vtx i should be good to go for some real actual legitimate long range on this thing now um, as it is i can go about two thousand feet i think that's about right so um about a half a mile no problem low flying airplane they do that around here a lot um but um, yeah, so I'm getting about a half a mile, and that's where my video is starting to <laughs> get flaky. Um, it's not so bad when I'm going away from myself, but when I turn around, it's pretty scary, and I don't fully trust the GPS rescue 100% yet. Um, so I'm still feeling things out. So that's that. Anyway, F port uh, on the R9MM on a F4 board. Hope this helped out somebody. Um, if you guys like it, if it helped you, drop a subscribe and a like. And don't forget to check out my other stuff. Thanks a lot, guys. See you later.